I'm just going to ask to unmute and Francis might need to help you. Oh, there you are. You're unmuted. Fantastic. So, Sonny, I was hearing about your lovely rambling house um, years ago from Sean Murphy, who often comes on to, to our rambling house here. And he was telling us what a, what a special place it was and how the love of the session, which is story led, but not just about story. It's about the music, about the poetry, about the characters that ramble in. And he said, you made room for everybody. And then I planned to come. And in the year that I planned to come, Sonny closed the doors on the rambling house. So we'll have to open them up again sometime, Sonny, you know. Um, but it's lovely to meet you. How are you doing? I'm not, not too bad at all. No, doing the best we can at it. Trying to, trying to get all of this COVID. We're, we're, we're staying alive anyway. That's it, you know. <laughs> I, I know the lads in, um, in St. John's Storytelling Centre across the water are loving you and, you know, kind of in that you've appeared there a few times. So it's great to see the people rambling into us. But it's mm. also lovely to know that you're rambling out mm. to the Sunland and, and joining us in spirit, you know, so that's great. Yeah, well, uh, thanks to Francis here because I'm, I'm not into the mad cons, no at all, like, don't know, so, but uh, I, Francis, uh, don't know, welcomed me into her home there and that's mm -hmm. so in town here because I, I, I'm one of those stuck and I, I wouldn't be familiar with all these zooms and stuff at all, you know. More right. of, uh, I'd be more into in, in a group of people talking and that. Yeah. But anyway, sure, I suppose that's the way things are. We're lucky to have it the way things are going. Absolutely. So you know, I'll, so. I, I'll, I'll tell you a short story and then I'll sing a song, a short story and a short song. I have the card here with me here. Do you know, uh, that was, you were talking there, I know, about, um, uh, you know, I'm eating marriage and all that, but long ago, people didn't have to, you know, go, go into dances and that, they'd be quite, and, but this lad, anyway, he had a farm, and he was a good old worker, but that was no saying of marrying or having a girlfriend, and kind of in the lookout, but that was this lady, and she was a hairdresser. And one day he went in to get the hair cut. He didn't know it, but she got talking to him and he found out that she was only a mile and a half away from him. And, you know, he'd go in when he didn't need a haircut, just to keep in touch, like. And this day he went in and he was told that she had moved on to Cork. She was after getting a job in one of the big saloons above in Cork. And he was a bit disappointed, he said the least. And you know, she seemed to be doing well there because she wouldn't come on back at all and he was being quiet in the boat. You know? and, uh, and after about three years, didn't he hear that she was coming home to visit uh, the, 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 the cousins? And uh, she, he said, I'll have to meet her. Do you know? And he made it his business anyway to be around and uh, didn't he meet her? And, and he said to her, how, how are we getting on? Well, if we see the way she was dressed, you see the hot kind of style, the kind of sharp claws to the knee with a bit of a split in the skirt. And I'll tell you, no, you couldn't believe what the fancy hat and the makeup she being a hairdresser like. I believe that you're supposed to look like that for no, you know. So uh, anyway, he said to her, is there any chance to see you could call back to me a Sunday? Uh, we'll have an old talk to the bit since we met. And she said, why shouldn't she? Behind it all, like she was thinking of settling herself. But uh, he was glad to know, like, that she was still to the good. That meant that she had no awful, uh, you know, but I mean, she was still to the good. <laughs> so uh, the next thing anyway, that day, uh, he was all ready and he brought a ready cooked chicken and he had fine florist buds and carrots and parsnips and he had them all prepared. And he was about the two or three days before that getting the house ready. And he had a nice little bit of lano. And when she came anyway, he was excited too, of course. And when they were eating and he was asking how was she getting on and cut. And what kind of people are the cut crowd? 
laikų neaudas, halotijos, tai mėčiu, analdatin šis rodo lovli pip, lovli. And you would meet very nice people and they have a bit of a strange accent, all right, but you get used to it after a bit. He was delighted to hear that. And, uh, you know, he was still thinking, is it, will you come out to see here and closely the milking parlor? And she did. And then he showed her a few more things that would be very important to know the wheat and the spuds and everything. He said, I'm self-sufficient, you know, I grow my own stuff, organic. And then he went down the field and, you know, he had a nice barn because and the cows were there and they ate in a way and fine grass and they walked down. And he was wondering how was he doing? Was he making an impression with her? She wouldn't let none anything. And he was looking at the cows and there they were licking at each other and they are fine and relaxed. And he said, oh, look at the cows, so say, and they're kissing one another. Wouldn't they love to do that? No. And she answered him and she said, and sure, what's happening? Or aren't the cattle or on? And God bless you back, Sonny, you know. So, um, Sonny, the festival is coming up on the 17th to the 19th of September. I hope I get to meet you down there, you know. We're, if we're alive for it, we might fall across one another. That's it, exactly. I hope for us to fall across one another. That would be absolutely marvellous. <laughs> Lovely to see you tonight, Sonny. And I hope you'll make it next month when we'll have Dana Washington all the way from the United States. Isn't that going oh, to be great? Yeah. And that's grand. God bless you now. God bless you now. See you soon. Bye. So 